This is the Ningaloo coast along the remote western coast of Australia. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its pristine beaches and marine tourism. But recently, it has received immense news coverage due to an alarming rise in coral bleaching. According to scientists, a sustained and intense heat wave recorded in Western Australia has killed coral reefs throughout an area that stretches around 1500 kilometers. The corals have been subjected to mass bleaching, and the current catastrophe is the fourth ongoing mass extinction event that has left scientists shocked. Algae living within corals give them their hues and also provide them with food using photosynthesis. Corals in return give them a safe place to live. It is a good example of a mutually beneficial symbiotic relationship. But extreme heat causes corals to expel the algae and this expulsion causes bleaching and eventual death. From August 2024 to May 2025, the heat wave which started to build off of Australia's northwestern coast caused heat stress in corals. Such is the extent of the bleaching that it is now a record. The update from the Western Australia Coral Bleaching Group said that the amount of bleaching and coral deaths ranged from 30% to 90%. More distressing news comes from Rowley Shoals, a group of three remote reefs that were previously successful in evading the heat waves and were termed as hope spots. Unfortunately, they were amongst the worst hit in the affected 1500 km radius. Coral bleaching affects safety and sustenance of people. Coastal towns are protected by coral reefs, which act as natural barriers that absorb the energy of storms and waves. The other alternative to coral reefs is environmentally expensive, harmful and inefficient artificial seawalls. Fishes and other crustaceans would be severely affected as well, as these reefs provide them a safe place to grow. If the fishes population is threatened, then this might severely affect the fishing industry. Currently, the full impact of the situation is still under study and it is expected to be completed by November. But regardless, if carbon emissions aren't checked, then there will be a continuous surge in heat and the deadly impact of an ever-increasing rise in heat on coral reefs should be a severe wake-up call for the world.